So this is a difficult question because, and here's something that we've got to remember in it. Every single culture that exists in the world has certain things that when we come to the Bible, when we come to God's revelation, how God works, how God does things, every culture has some things that are abrasive and we don't like and it just bucks straight up against us and how we think God should do things. Every culture has it. If you go to an Eastern society, they have absolutely no problem with God wiping out some and God redeeming some. They say, yeah, that is exactly how it works. But for them, for, for them, it would, it's going to, it'll be loud. For them, it would be the relational aspects are impossible. How would a God who created everything possibly be concerned with a relationship with an individual finite human would be their, their thinking, what they would struggle with. Yeah. So we, difficulty with that. So we've got to remember, first of all, when we have problem, when we come to the Bible and there are things that we go, oh, I don't really like that. I would do things differently. You need to understand that that is normal. Everybody has that. And yours are mostly determined by the culture that you grew up in. And ultimately... We submit to God. Yeah. He's in charge, and he does what he wants to do. If it's hard for us to take, it's not really um, the big issue. Yeah. We submit to God, and that's how he chose to redeem all of humanity who would come to believe in him through these people. That's the way he did it. Yeah. One of the things to remember in anything like that that you're going to come up against in the Bible and feel, I don't like that. What you really need to realize, what you're doing in that situation, is you are sitting in judgment over God. And you're essentially saying, the Lord who spoke everything into existence, because my, my consciousness can't comprehend how this is good, or how this is right, He's not right. Like that's what we're doing when we come up against that. We're saying that I actually know how to do it better, and this is really how God should have done it, and I wish He would have done it, and I don't like that. It's okay to go, God, I don't know if I like that, but at the end of the day, we need to go, but I'm not God. In Romans chapter 9, that's probably the best chapter you can read on it, and this is something that is really hard for us in the West to grasp. Paul says, the Lord, essentially he's saying, the Lord owes everyone death and destruction for our sin. Everyone. And He chooses to save some, and He chooses to pass over some, and they get what they deserve. And Paul keeps answering the questions he knows are going to come up in our mind. He's saying, yeah, He doesn't end up saving everyone. And we know that's true. He's saying, so, it's, so how can we say, you know, if, if that's the big, huge plan, some will be saved, some will be destroyed, isn't, is, doesn't that make God unjust? And Paul just, he doesn't answer in the way that we would say. He's like, no, it doesn't make him unjust, and we try to hit all these angles, and you can. He just says, who are you to question God? That's a lot of times what we need to do. We need to go, I'm not God. I don't understand it all. And just because I can't think of a good reason that this fits and this is how things are just because I can't think of a good reason or I think it's bad doesn't mean it is bad and doesn't mean there isn't a good reason just because we can't grasp it but what we, what we need to do is really understand that at the end of the day because of our sin we all deserve death we all deserve to be wiped out and the Lord does that to some but those who come to faith in Jesus those who abandon their self-salvation efforts and those who come to faith in Him he reconciles, He redeems. He passes over some in saving them. We all deserve it. And the fact that any of us are saved is a miracle of God's grace. What would we do? Everyone is in utter rebellion to me. We just wipe them out. The Lord says, I'm not going to do that. Some will be wiped out and they will get what they deserve and I'll be more glorified and some I will redeem at great cost to myself through grace and I will be glorified. What we... What's really helpful is just to remember, this whole thing isn't about us. Man is not at the center of existence. We like to think we're at the center of everything and we're the most important thing in existence. No, Jesus is. And if He says, I'm more glorified by showing grace to some and showing judgment to some, then we need to, no matter how hard that is, we need to go, He's smarter than me. I know He's good. 
The cross proves that. The resurrection proves that. And though it's hard, I'm going to trust him.